I'm going to have a look at this Halloween Gambit uh, chess game I just played. It's uh, against a German guy. It was really not happy with the way the, the game went. So we start off into the Scottish Four Knights. At this point I sent him a message saying hold on tight. Uh, he didn't respond to that. Anyway, Halloween Gambit. Straight in. Take the pawn on e5, very risky. Knight for a pawn, and it's pretty much a, a lost game for uh, White from this position. But it isn't often I actually see people get the win. So he takes it into the get Halloween Gambit here, and then straight away we go in claiming the center and pushing his knights back. This is a very common one. Most people play this. It looks safe enough. You push a pawn again. He decides, yeah, he's already thought this one out. He's going to be safe playing the knight back to there. But we're going to carry on being aggressive, pushing the f-pawn up. Now he's starting to, to sweat a bit. So, play safety move there. But we've got all this rehearsed. And we're just pushing again. Now he's got to think, does he give me the give me the knight back? Or does he actually put his knight back where it started from and be that far behind on development? It sort of... But it, 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 he thinks he's going to be alright. You know, this is a, a silly, silly gambit I've played. Push on there. He's going to swap that off. It's the only thing he can realistically do. Now he has another thing. And he comes up with this one. Um, there are worse than this, but I wasn't impressed. But in most cases, we're going to bring the knight out to there, threatening to fault the king and the, the rook. So he, he can't take back yet, or he could, but then he's sort of given up any, any gains he's got. I've seen this played a few times. And I decided, the first time I played this, uh, this particular line, I was going to bring the bishop out and keep up. Now, I've done a bit of analysis on here, and taking the pawn that's hanging now with the knight is actually risky with the queen going to d2, threatening to capture it, and then we're going to castle longside. But he didn't do this. I think his, his nerves, this is what you get with Halloween Gambit, people lose the bottle and start just messing up big time. So he did that with the obvious check there. King had to go there. Knight in. King's got no choice now. Come back. I win his queen. And we got a really feeling sorry for himself, German. It didn't help that I actually told him it was called the Brexit Gambit, which seemed to just infuriate him even more. He thought I was an annoying child, not a 60-year-old uh, chess player, just uh, having a bit of a laugh with him. Material going left, right and centre there. It's all over. Bar the shouting, as they say. Just go through the last few moves he did. There's nothing really worth looking at here. So this is the guy's first experience of the Halloween Gambit. And the annoying bit is, he didn't want to know what it was called. He was sort of, I think he was that infuriated by this point. So we'll just play these last uh, dying throws out now. And there we have it. Halloween Gambit. Completely destroying. Wonder if you can rename them? No, I don't think they're going to stand for the... Yeah. 
Brexit gambit, are they? And there I have it. Halloween gambit in action. Always fun for white. Never fun for black. You won't win every game with it, but you'll have a you'll have great fun every game.